I kind of feel like these puffy sleeves are like very aggressive. Like, do they make me look like a linebacker maybe a little bit? Possibly. There's a strong chance that that's what's happening right now, but we're rolling with it. This week's fragrance is from a brand called Gritty and the scent is Noctem Arabs. And this scent is special. Let me tell you why. There's a little bit of a story behind why I even own this scent. First, let me talk about the actual fragrance. To me and on me, this develops into this beautiful oud that has a lot of sandalwood, it has patchouli, and then it also has a sweetness with amber. There's a slight musk to it. It is a beautiful, strong oud scent. Truth be told, it's not like an incredibly unique smelling oud. It is similar to other things that I've smelled before or even that I own, but there's a very specific reason behind why I absolutely had to own this and now let me get into the story. So I I actually smelled this about three years ago in Milan. There was this small little perfumery or perfume store. It has no specific name, otherwise this would have been a lot easier to track down. I went in there one day and the man that was helping me was so kind and he had me smell a bunch of things and then I sprayed this on my hand and through the day I absolutely fell in love with it. I was so excited. I went back the next day to buy this perfume and there was a lady in the store, the man was not there, and she only spoke Italian or if she knew how to speak English, she didn't want to speak English to me. And I was trying to tell her that I wanted to spray it again and everything was behind glass like sliding doors. And when I had gone there the previous day, the man there had let me go through some of the sliding doors and he told me to try different ones and I was touching the bottles. So I went back and I slid the door and she freaked out. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like I was here yesterday. There's just one perfume that I really wanted to smell. Can I spray it on me? And she was like, no. And I was like, what do you mean no? And she was like, you can't touch the bottles. And I was like, I was literally here yesterday touching the bottles. And there are two other people in the store at this point who are, I'm pretty sure a local because they were speaking in Italian who were touching the bottles behind other sliding doors. I was so irritated and so upset at this lady and she was rude about it. Like there's no need. I don't need to touch anything, but you can be nice about it. She was not. She looked like I was bothering her and I was like, peace out. I don't need this. I don't want it. I don't want to give you a single cent of my money. And I just walked out thinking that I could easily find this fragrance online somewhere. Boy, was I wrong. Gritty is not easily found and it is difficult to ship to the United States. My parents actually went back to Milan like after that, like a year or two later. And I was like, can you please find this one perfume store? It's right here. You turn, turn, turn. And I gave them directions, they couldn't find it. It wasn't until <laughs> like a month ago that I saw on Fragrance X that they had this fragrance and I just got it. I was like, I don't know if it's real, I don't know if it's fake, I'm gonna do it. It was out of stock for a really long time, came back in stock a month ago, purchased it, and it smells exactly how I remember and there is a sense of triumph associated with this fragrance where even if it's nothing like crazy unique, like you have to run out and go buy it right this second, it's just victory in a bottle for me. And the amount or how strong the sandalwood note is in here, I feel works so beautifully with the oud that's also in here because it does give it a softness and a little bit more of a muskiness where it's not a really overpowering animalic oud and it's beautiful like as soon as i got it i was like i gotta film the fragrance of the week with the backstory i'm gonna sound like a vindictive petty little girl but i don't care i feel so much satisfaction that this is in my collection i hope you guys enjoyed a little story time leave a comment down below and let me know if you have a favorite oud or sandalwood based fragrance because as always i would love to try out suggestions but until my next video thank you as always so much for tuning in and i'll catch you soon bye